I saw this video on Steve Alcorn's Cryptid of the Week video and thought I would just have a look at it. The video claims to show a flying human that takes off from a nearby tower and flies to a building to the left of our scene. Steve seemed to think it could be someone on a zip line and when watching the movement of the subject it does kind of look that way. So I stabilized it and noticed that the figure in question looks very transparent to me. Even considering distance and fuzzy focus, things just don't look this ethereal if they're a solid object. What it does look like is someone playing around with the masking on their video processor. In fact, the subject is so transparent that we are hard pressed to make it out in the original footage from inside the car. And what they give us for a close-up view doesn't show us where this thing ends up. And I wanted to see where this went, so I used the original footage and then zoomed in on the action. To help see it better, I had to adjust the contrast a bit. Now this spot right here is where we lose sight of the image. It drops down to in front of this structure and just vanishes. So apparently, this human can not only defy the laws of physics, it's also multidimensional. First you see it, and then in the very next frame, it's gone. This is obviously CG, and this wasn't the first time, nor the last time, you will hear me say this about a video. In fact, I think it could become almost redundant at some point. Not because it's an easy cop-out for me, but because with this age where computer graphics programs have advanced and where just about anyone can use these at home to create these kind of videos, it has become very common for us to see it online. It gluts the internet and it's going to be up to us to determine the logic of what we are seeing. Thanks for watching.